Guys, we are officially fucking back, baby. Let's get to this started. So let's let's start off real quickly. I want to let you guys know, explain why I've been gone. So I've been gone just because of fucking coronavirus. You guys know that has been going on and it's been hectic. Um, they didn't want to get my kids sick, so I stopped going out really. Um, Came to the garage a lot of times. I got a lot going on here. A lot that left. A lot that is, is sold and gone. So let me start by saying we sold um, Miles' quad, my quad that was sitting here. That's why we have a bunch of free space here. A lot of, of activities that we could do here. Should have been Look at all this floor all space. So With much, your robots in here. So many activities. This is how we do it. Da, 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 da. You like guacamole? Ah! In this space, we got an ice chest over here because... um. We gotta keep cool in these times, guys. We gotta keep cool, and um, it's gonna get hotter. So, I'm gonna be here for a while. So we got an ice chest with some ice and some drinks in there, some cold drinks, so that way I can stay hydrated, guys, because um, your boy gets hot in here. Anyway, um, quads are gone. I sold uh, wheels that I had. You guys know I had um, the SI wheels on the um, SI on the H gen, and I got rid of those. I'm gonna just daily drive the uh, RZ wheels. I still got the boxes right here, just in case one day I wanna sell them, I could do so, but, um, we got right out rid of a lot so we got all kinds of wheels that were set up here we got rid of a lot of stuff here we got rid of some ecus and stuff just to fund some more stuff for the turbo so we can get some money for the tune so we can get money for a couple other things that i needed i had to get a new sandwich plate that is here come out come out come out sandwich plate was leaking on me the fittings or the thread was uh a little bit bad on the other one so it started leaking on me so went out got another one had to do that because um if we're leaking oil we're not going to feed the turbo or my block and uh, that's pretty bad for us so um, a lot needs to be said, so that's why I'm talking super, super fast. But um, before we get started with this, um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like that I am back, like the video if you do, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, hit that motherfucking subscribe button for me, and let your fans and family, everybody know to subscribe to the channel. But yes, um, today we also got a new uh, line here, a feed line, because our other one was intervening here with the manifold. It was uh, touching the manifold and it started burning through the, um, it's, about a week ago, a week ago. Um, it's burning on the manifold. So, or the manifold's burning the uh, feed line. Stainless steel, so, or is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, stainless steel. I don't know, I'm not sure. But yes, it was burning through it. So I got another one with a 90 degree uh, angle on it. And then it goes into the back of the block to the sandwich plate to feed the turbo on, uh, we gotta remove that, we gotta remove the sandwich plate, get the other one in, and yes, that's what we got doing there, or going there. Also, um, last thing that we do uh, need to tell you guys about the turbo, we got the dump tube and down pipe made, if you guys didn't know that. Just wanna give you guys like a sound test, like of how loud this thing is gonna be, driving 35 minutes. Um, it's gonna be pretty hectic, so check it out. Pretty loud, I know we're in the garage, so it's gonna be a little bit less loud, a little bit quieter. But um, it's still gonna be loud the whole drive over there, so wish me luck, guys. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. Hopefully we don't have no issues. Fingers crossed that we don't. <laughs> All right, let's go for a startup. Everything is welded in. So this baby sounds. I'll show you what it looks like after we turn this on. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so much quieter. Let me show you guys how we did this. So we got the downpipe and dump tube made. Everything is pretty much set, ready to go, except for the leaking of the oil. Reason I found out it was leaking, well, my gauge actually works. So gauge was telling me um, it was fluctuating a lot. So I was wondering why the oil pressure kept uh, going off. So I looked under the car, saw that we were leaking oil, and uh, I'm glad the gauges work, and I'm glad it told me that I was leaking some oil. So yes, we um, gotta get that fixed. I'll show you guys the gauges in just a little bit. Last things we need to do for the turbo are going to be uh, injectors, but we're going to do that when we get to the shop because I'm going to drive the car to the shop. Um, we have to put on the intakes and stuff or like the, the piping towards the intake manifold because um, I've been running the, the car. Next is the vacuum lines and that's going to be done the day of as well. And that's pretty much all we have left to do guys and to find a tuner, but uh, we will do that in the near, near future. Um, 
Let's head in here. Gauges are done. You guys can see there. And I made a harness for the gauges too. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this is, you guys are not gonna be able to see it. But I kind of made it as legit as I could. I gave everything their own little, yeah, this is the, the harness here. So I made it legit, as legit as I could. And then uh, everything is hooked on to everything with like little uh, butt connectors or like little ring terminals or like some some type of, type of spade or female connect. I don't know what they're, what they're called exactly. But yeah, I went out and bought a bunch of those. Made everything as legit as I could. And that's what's going on, guys. Also, um, I don't know if you guys noticed this in the engine bay, but focus, please, 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 please. Yes, if you guys noticed, we started sanding all the engine bay, except for this side here, because I'm gonna do that once I pull the motor. But I'm trying to get the motor completely done, dynoed and everything, so that way I can pull the motor and then just throw everything back in once the car is painted or once the engine bay is painted. So, yes, uh, engine bay is getting prepped right now for the near near future because this thing is raggedy. We do gotta get these um, holes fixed here. I don't know if you guys can see that. These holes right here, these shock tower uh, holes, we gotta get those fixed because they look raggedy as F. But, yes guys, I'm back. Good to be back. I'm gonna get under the car and um, get this uh, sandwich plate removed, get this uh, free line removed and get the new one installed. That way um, we could have a good running and solid feeding uh, <laughs> turbo or fed turbo and block because uh, like I said, that would be bad if we spin a bearing or we uh, blow the turbo. So we're gonna get to doing this real quick and uh, once we're done, we will start the car, show you guys the gauges work. The only gauge that I need to uh, fix as well, or not fix, but um, run the wiring to is gonna be the air to fuel ratio, but we're gonna do that at the shop as well. And uh, let's just get into this car and get this done. Alright guys, so sandwich plate is out. I'm talking funky and it has something in my mouth. It's completely out. We're gonna get this, fit, uh, this line removed, the fitting, on this new uh, sandwich plate here. We're gonna get these uh, three uh, fittings out, or these three screws or bolts out. We're gonna get some plumber's tape on them. That way they don't leak. Get the feed line with some tape on it. Get the uh, oil adapter on with some plumber's tape as well. And we should have no more leaks, guys. I didn't put any plumber's tape on these uh, screws. That's why it's leaking. I fucked up. I over tightened. So um, threads got messed up, and that's our issue right now. So. We're going to get this new one done. Hopefully we don't mess anything up. And have a good running car again. Let's finish this up. First try. No battery. Let's connect these jumper cables. Pray to God, fingers crossed that we're not leaking any more oil because if not, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And you guys can see we got a steady, steady uh, oil pressure now. That means I don't think we have a leak. So hopefully, hopefully we don't have a leak. I'm praying to God that I don't because I'll be so sad if we do. 
We would see drippage right here. I don't see no drippage so far. Hopefully it stays that way. It sounds like it because it's having a steady idle. Um, before it would fluctuate and uh, also our, our uh, oil pressure is steady, steady, steady. So um, I think we're over the worst, hopefully. All right guys, so we let it sit for probably like two or three minutes now and I still have no leaks. I cleaned it up with some degreaser that I have over there and no leaks, so um, that's good news. Hopefully it stays this way. Um, I checked the fittings for um, the sandwich plate and they look like they're dry. The oil uh, fi uh, filter looks dry, so um, hopefully it stays that way. All right, guys, you guys can see hatch is completely on the floor. Yes, sir. We got um, this thing to stop leaking, got under the car, figured out that it wasn't the uh, oil filter that wasn't plugged or tightened up enough. I tightened it a little bit more, just a little, like, enough for me to be able to get, get it back off. But the fitting for the uh, feed line was a little bit, not loose, but um, when you're getting sucking oil from there to the turbo, it's going to get... Um, a leak oil is very very slippery and um that's why you put plumber's tape on there as well so you don't get any leaks but um yeah we got to stop leaking for the meantime hopefully it doesn't start leaking on us in the future but for now we got to stop leaking for now that is done so now we just got to look for a um a tuner and once we get done with that we'll be able to take the car in get this thing tuned and we'll have a turbo eg guys finally after so long waiting for this thing to be completely finished it is finally about that time to find a tuner. Once I do find a tuner, I will let you guys know. Hopefully in the next few weeks I find one. I'm gonna have to probably drive the thing all the way to LA. So it's gonna be a little bit hectic, a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna have to take tools with me. I'll make sure this thing doesn't leak on me. I'm gonna have to take a jack, uh, jack with me, jack stands, and hopefully we make it there. Um, I'm scared, but we gotta do what we gotta do to get a good tune. And uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoy that I am back. Make sure you hit the like button. If you do enjoy me being back, make sure you comment down below if you do. Um, anyone new here, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.